Welcome back, friends. Thanks for being here. Steve, KM9G. I missed the hat. Steve, KM9G. See, I can do it sometimes. This time we're going to get the crossband repeater for the ISS programmed into our Balfang using Chirp. And I'm going to use the Raspberry Pi setup that we did in the last video, which is linked up above. Um, we made some tape measure Yagis. Didn't film any of it. But KB9VBR has an excellent video, so I'll link his video up there as well. Um, check it out after you're finished this one. Because we got to program the frequencies first, then we can listen to the uh, ISS repeater. So stick around. Oh, and, and this thing, this YouTube thing that they make me do. Thanks. Okay, so last time we installed Chirp, it was on the not start menu under accessories under Chirp. And we still have the radio turned on, so let's download from the radio. So we have a working clone of what's going on. And the ISS transmits on one frequency and listens on another. And because the ISS is moving, you get what's called the Doppler effect. And so the frequency changes a little bit as the ISS makes its pass overhead, and we need to account for that. So I'm gonna go down to the bottom, and just for grins, I'm gonna start on 60, and I'm gonna make the listen frequency of 437.810. I'm gonna call it ISSA. Then I'm gonna make a listen frequency of 437. Dot 805. No, really. I don't know why I picked 810. 805. ISSB. 437. Dot 800. Call that ISSC. to 437.795, and we'll call that ISSD, and then 437.790, we'll call that ISSE. And then finally we want a frequency for the other side, we will call that 145.790, Nine nine zero, and we will call that ISS V for VHF. Okay, and so what we will do with these frequencies is on your Balfang, you have two different uh, VFOs, and if you're like me, you have more than one Balfang. Um, and what you can do is you can listen on one VFO and transmit on the other. So as it's moving across the sky, you can tune in to whichever frequency sounds the clearest while you are rotating and changing the angle and pointing direction of your uh, tape measure Yagi or your very fancy arrow antenna or whatever other antenna you happen to want to try. Uh, might even want to try it just with a regular old rubber duck. I have heard that there are people getting good results using the rubber duck. Um, but it's probably due to the fact that it's a direct line of sight and there's nothing in the way. Um, and then I'm going to use probably another Balfang to transmit up and be able to hear myself. So those are the frequencies that I've got programmed in. You can see them right there on your screen. They will also be listed in the description down below. Give it a try on your radio, uh, whatever radio you may happen to have, and leave me some feedback. Let me know how it worked for you. I'm gonna go out and try this myself. Let's, uh, let's take a look and see where it is right now. Bring up a web browser. Let's go to N2YO. I think it's .com. You'll know right away if it's the wrong site. Yep, it's the right site. 
And by default, N2YO is already set up to track the ISS. It's gonna take a little while to load, especially on a Raspberry Pi. It will cross over my sky in another six hours. We'll click on that. This will give the predictions of when it will pass over and a whole bunch of useful information. So I'm gonna go play with this myself and see what's going on. There you have it. Let's write those frequencies out to the radio real quick before we forget. Radio, upload to radio, USB. Zero is the port and it is rewriting to the radio. There it is. Okay, just a quick video on how I programmed the ISS crossband repeater frequencies into my Baofeng UV5R. Uh, I am going to go out and see how it works and we will see what we can do with that. So thanks for watching. Thanks for being awesome.